All right, friends. Welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I can't wait to get started and show you how incredible it was to open these incredible action figures and you know these animal counterparts from the forest from the jungle it looks absolutely amazing so guys if you have not already subscribed to our channel please subscribe below hit the notification bell next to it so you notify every time a new video come out talk to us in the comments below we'd love to hear from you let us know where in the world you're watching from and you already have some of these are you thinking about getting some of these because you're gonna see just how great they look they're Walmart exclusives and they look absolutely amazing and so let me tell you what my thoughts are now where are the other uh, main characters from the movie? I don't know. We'll find out. We gotta ask. So why don't we go ahead and get started right now? It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Super Channel G. All right, friends. So we are back. I can't wait to show you just how cool these amazing action figures are for Jumanji. It is a Walmart exclusive so that's what I want to show you and it's definitely a lot of really cool beasts from I guess the jungle in this cool video game and um, but there is a couple of Dwayne the Rock Johnson action figures and another one in there that I'm not quite sure who it is it's back over there so we'll be showing you but let's get started and let's just take a quick look to see what's in this complete set so first off we have the elusive Jaguar and they all have some sort of action sound and uh, motion and it's really cool so uh, check that out it shows you right here realistic Jaguar sound action and head movement and we're just gonna move on quickly and then we'll we'll get down to what exactly is in here so fierce lion looks super cool look at that great detail and so these are about the size of um, in relation to what a G.I. Joe action figure would be from the original G.I. Joe line you notice we have all four of these plus some let me set that aside look at this awesome ferocious tiger again the detail on these figures looks incredible so set that aside now look at this grizzly this big paw bear man doesn't that look outstanding and it's a heavy action figure too okay moving on next we do have look at this another Dwayne the Rock Johnson action figure and then we have this huge hippo with this open and closing mouth right here this great artwork right here and so we'll set that aside and check out this charging rhino now it says charging rhino but I definitely don't think he moves other than his head but super cool look at that and I'm not sure who this is supposed to be it doesn't look like Jack Black's figure at all but um anyway if you know, if you figure it out, or if you're watching this after the movie came out, um, you might know already, so you can comment down below. Oops, knocking into stuff. Now here is the other The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson action figure. Here looks really cool, and since it looks like the same action figure, maybe we can just give him a custom paint um, outfit since it looks like the exact same figure. But look at this really awesome elephant, and there's these three sets that we have. You already saw the rhino and the hippo, and it's the elephant, colossal elephant. And then last but not least, we did have this special pack right here that has these four. It has this, what appears to be this eagle, um, cheetah, and this does appear to be the same lion. So I guess we'll find out after we open it. And then we have warthog like Pumbaa right here. You know, when he was a young warthog. It's a wild kingdom collection. So what do you say we dive in and get started and we definitely want to start with one of the uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson sets. So what do you say we start with, hmm, do you want this elephant one? Yeah, let's just dive right on in. I think so. All right. So let's see. All right, so here we go. Here is Colossal Elephant 
and he looks really cool I can't say enough about the detail on these figures they look absolutely awesome let's take a look at this box back here of course it says only at Walmart um, look at this Dwayne the Rock Johnson action figure right here colossal elephant the, right here from Leonard look at that cheetah this awesome artwork right here this incredible Jumanji logo right here and then realistic action and sound look at all these animals back here and look at the awesome um, back of this box it looks absolutely incredible so from this size of figures there's gonna be three collect them all get wild 2019 Columbia Pictures Industries and action and head movement realistic elephant sound and there's a button that we press right back here let's see what it says right here Jumanji adventure awaits adventure awaits in the world of Jumanji where you don't just play the game you must survive it with its tremendous size and strength the Jumanji trample and tusk colossal elephant towers above all others encounter and experience the wild world of Jumanji where adventure awaits man let's dive right on in look at that is there any more art right here? Looks like the same thing from the other side, right? So, right here, and let's dive right on in. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut my main man out right here. Look at that. And let's take a look at this action figure. Now, he looks very similar to the one that was released for the Rampage um, movie. So, this might just be that, come to think of it. But let's zoom right on in and look at this great head sculpt look at this for the simple action figure definitely resembles him let's see the head doesn't go up and down but it does turn look at that the arms go well around arms go out and look at the nice sculpt on this body for the just overall this outfit this um the arms there's a little bit of well there's a little bit of rush job there but overall all in all Especially for the price, this action figure looks great. We have a single joint right here at the knee. We have this little joint right here in the at the hip. And so these are a lot. Um, how would I say it? It's not loose, but I would say it moves a lot easier than I thought it would. So the legs only move this much. And so clearly, I'm hoping that it. Oh, look at this! The knife comes out, and there's a nice little um, rubber band in there to keep it in there. So let's pull that out right here. So that's a pleasant little surprise right there. There we go. Man, look how big this is. That ain't a knife. Cool, look at that. So that was a nice little surprise. Let's see, the single joint right there at the elbows. And let's see, does it turn to the waist? Great, it does. So all in all, it's a pretty good little action figure right here and as I mentioned the other one looks like it's gonna be the exact same so um, it would be nice if it was a little bit different so that it would encourage us to get more and I would like to have action figures of all the characters in the movie right would love to have one of Jack Black and you know so on so uh, Kevin Hart but nonetheless at least we have Dwayne the Rock Johnson so it stands pretty well and let's get the elephant out let's zoom back out and let's see how easy is this going to be to cut. Notice how I said how easy is it going to be to cut instead of how hard is it going to be to cut. Especially with these scissors. <laughs> with these scissors. Yeah, no, look, I cut it out and it's still in. There we go. Come on. Let me. Give me a second. Okay. So finally was able to cut this elephant out. There we go. And there's an extra little one right here. So that was cool. Um, I wonder if there's any instructions in here that we weren't aware of. Let me just open this back right here. Just in case. Just in case. Oop, look, there's more tape here. So I can see if there's anything else in here. I guess I could have slid this bad boy out, but no, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like there's any other anything other than a reinforced bottom. What is this? Okay, so we'll set this aside. Okay, well, let's actually move a little bit closer here. And so, look at this outstanding elephant. Man, look at this detail. I'm gonna zoom in right here. 
It's got great paint job. Look at these tusks. And look at that. So, little tail. Tail soft. Doesn't really move, but tail soft. And then legs. Man, they go up pretty far. Especially since the elephant is not super nimble. So, let's see what happens when we do this. So we can pose the elephant. You know, maybe. Oop! <laughs> Don't want to stay up there. But, man, looks great. Just a little look around. Okay, I think it looks awesome. And we'll move on. We'll take a look at all of them at the end. So, okay, cool. What do you say we put our elephant? Do we want to line them up? What do we want to do? Set them off to the side? Yes, no, maybe? So, maybe we will. We'll just set them right here on the side. And we'll put the rock right here. How's that? Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. So, let's move on. Next, we have this charging rhino. And so, I'm not really too sure, like I said, who that's supposed to be. But, um, yeah, this is a really cool action figure. Here's almost the exact same packaging, right? If not exactly, except for this part right here. And then the back looks the same, except it does say this right up right here so we'll take a look what it says and action and head movement realistic rhino sound collect them all and it says adventure awaits in the world of jumanji where you don't just play the game you must survive it rush and charge through the forest with the mighty jumanji horn attack charging rhino this enormous creature allows nothing to stand in its way encounter and experience the world of jumanji where adventure awaits all right let's get this do it on out of here, right here. Let's see what's going on with him. There we are. Okay. So, it's pretty cool looking. Look at that. Man, he's got a whole lot going on here. And man, was that knife paint job rush. It just, it just like licked it once with brown. But anyway. Okay, so he moves right here and at the elbow. So that's nice. The shoulders move pretty well. Head turns. Moves at the waist, right? And then his leg movement is different. Because look at this joint. It just goes back and forth. Unlike the other one that was kind of like on a ball. And then, of course, the knees bend. So it only goes back and forth. It does not turn to the side. So that's interesting. We've got those brown boots. All in all, it looks all right. So at least it's another figure. Um, other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's a little short and stubby. So, just calling that out. Let's see how tall he is compared to. Maybe it is supposed to be Jack Black. I don't know. But he's definitely not round. And I'm pretty sure Jack Black's going to be round in the movie. <laughs> but, yeah, because look how tall he is compared to the rock. <laughs> Let me go over here. So, who knows? Definitely does not look like Jack Black, but it does have a beard. Okay, let's move on and let's get this rhino on out of here. Okay, so here's this really cool rhino. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope, nothing. So this charging rhino. Charging rhino. Great detail right off the bat. Look at that. This beautiful head sculpt. Look at that. Beautiful paint job. Head feels a little loose, but whatever. This awesome detail. Look at this awesome detail. Oh, that was right here. So that's cool. The speaker's over here. So that's the speaker right there. Let's see the tail. Does it turn? No, it doesn't move, but it's bendy, but it doesn't really do anything else. But all in all, let's see. Spread the legs like that. So that it stands well because otherwise it won't but anyway look at that it looks super cool look how huge this guy is looks absolutely amazing okay let's move on 
And you know what? Let's angle these bros right here so that we can... Man, look how big he is compared to this elephant. He's bigger than the elephant. Not taller, but he sure is big. Look at that. There we go. So, cool. There we are. Okay, so let's move on. Well, it's right over here. And the third um, two pack that we have with one animal, one action figure is Massive Hippo. Look at Massive Hippo. Again, just take a moment to appreciate the box because the artwork looks great. And see what it says right here. It says, adventure awaits in the world of Jumanji where you don't just play the game, you must survive it. Lurking among the forests and waters comes the Jumanji chomp and attack Massive Hippo. Encounter and experience the wild world of Jumanji where adventure awaits. Yep, this is the third one. And, you know, this is more than likely the exact same rock action figure, but nonetheless, let's take a quick little look at him. It's absolutely the same. And, you know, maybe we'll just give him a different color. Uh, we'll give him a custom paint job so he looks a little different. Notice how the legs move differently than that one potentially Jack Black action figure, even though it looks nothing like him. And yeah, so let's cut this right here. Oop, all I did was move it because these scissors are definitely not very sharp. So practically safety scissors right here. Cool. So again, this action knife comes out right here. Put that right there. And yeah, we can have a more dynamic pose because legs don't, it's not that they they don't only just go forward. There we go. Very cool. We'll set him aside right on over here. He's a clone. <laughs> okay, obviously he's not, but definitely fun to say so. And let's get this hippo out. Okay, let's get this hippo on out of here. Oh. Rock, you fell! No! Ooh, I'm dropping everything over here. Okay. Toss him aside for a second. And look at this awesome looking hippo. Man, look at those teeth. How great does that look? How realistic as far as I can tell, right? So look at that. Let me tell you. If you didn't know, a hippo will eat you. <laughs> They'll come and they're apparently pretty fierce. So they're huge, big, and... Interestingly enough, you would think it would go like this and open, but it actually closes and makes a sound. But he looks absolutely so great. And look how big he is, man. Look at that. Maybe we're gonna have to turn these forward because how long is this guy? Look, he's the longest one now. So, okay, we'll put him over here. We'll have our rhino, I guess, next. And then our elephant, because they're taking up our whole reviews table. Look at that. How's that? It's going to have to do, right? So that's cool. There we are. And let's get Dwayne The Rock Johnson going again. Oh, there we are. Okay. Cool. So that looks great. All right, let's see who we got next. Let's set this up a little bit better. And let's see who we got. It is Ferocious Tiger. And the artwork is slightly different as far as the animals that they put right here, but look how great. It looks like a rock veining out over here. <laughs> so again, look at our logos and now it's these four in this set. So the first part is saying almost the same thing over and over, which you'll notice, but, um, but then the middle part is different. So 
Adventure awaits. Enter the most challenging game of your lives where you don't just play the game, you must survive it. Attack, claw, and strike through the jungle with the Jumanji slash and attack ferocious tiger. Encounter and experience the wild world of Jumanji where adventure awaits. Okay, where's my scissors? And... All right, let's get this bad boy open. Okay. Oop, still stuck. Come on out, tiger. Come to papa. All right, there's that. And let's take a look. It looks like we have a rubber band holding his mouth. So our head moves up and down, look at that. Look at this beautiful detail. I and mean, look like it pulled his jaw slightly to, the, to that side, right? This beautiful, beautiful paint job. Great sculpt. Look at how it fades right here. The, the wash to white, so that or off white. Now, where's the claws? Now, I don't know if they're retractable or not. Maybe they are, but it'd be nice to have this little black line right there, which I guess we can do ourselves. So, you know, does this tail move? Uh, looks like it's probably not supposed to. The legs go up to there. Come up to there. And same thing with these, come up to here. So let's see what happens. So I guess the mouth doesn't open on its own, but the head moves up when it... So that looks great. Really digging that. Okay, let's move on. Let's make sure we can do the whole set. How great that looks. Awesome. Okay, moving on. Next is this wonderful grizzly bear. Well, you know, I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a bear expert. I'm just assuming. I guess it could be a different kind of bear. Hmm. So big paw bear. And if you do know, you can comment below and you'll teach me something. So ravage and tear your way through the wilderness with the Jumanji wild big paw bear. Intruders beware. Encounter and experience the wild world of savage animals and peril at every corner. Adventure awaits in the world of Jumanji where you don't just play the game, you must survive it. All right, let's get this bad boy out. Look at that, let's get him out. And let's cut that off. There we go, so that we can open and close his mouth too. Okay, there we are. And man, again, some amazing detail. Wow, his head's a, definitely looser on this figure. So, not really excited about that, but he does look absolutely outstanding. Look at the detail on the screaming bear, look at that. Definitely big paw bear. So, press this and I... He's got his paws clawing in like that. And then these legs don't move a whole lot compared to some of the other ones, but man, that does. <laughs> so, I mean, wouldn't that be cool if we can have him stand up tall and then, uh, you know, like a real bear and have his head come down so he could be really tall and menacing? That would be really awesome instead of him just looking up because bears can stand up like that and climb trees and run really fast. So, I'm really digging the way he looks. He looks absolutely outstanding. Look at that detail in his little tail. Look at that. So, one last time. Great. All right, let's set him right over here. Right next to our tiger. Look at that. Man, it's definitely turning out to be a pretty good haul right here. Okay. Let's do um, Fierce Lion next. So again, beautiful package work. Look at that. Walmart exclusive. Adventure awaits. Enter the most challenging game of your lives where you don't just play the game, you must survive it. Rip and tear your way through the Jumanji world with a roar and chomp Fierce Lion. Danger lurks at every corner. Encounter and experience the wild world of Jumanji where adventure 
away. Just, look at that. Okay, so let's get him out. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Really excited about this one. And look at that. Okay, so the king of the jungle. His tail doesn't move either. Well, it's not really supposed to move, but since it's soft, it just kind of moves a little bit. And look how they have this right here. Cool. All right. So, man, look at this. Great detail on his legs. Look at that. Awesome paint job. Whoop. Then let's get that off there. There we are. And look at this lion's mane. This looks so great. Look at that. Definitely looks fierce. Uh oh. Let's go to the dentist because it's his jaw. I'm just kidding. It looks so incredible. Let me zoom in here. Look at that. Tune this is an incredible detail. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. And they're really big compared to our action figures. This is probably like good size to have like around a Marvel Legends. I don't know. But um anyway, they're not exactly the scale to either one, but they look great. So let's see how this one goes. So great. So absolute look at these paws. Man, I haven't even paid attention to how that looks right there. It's so amazing. Look at that. We'll set them over here. Put them right next to that. And then what we have one more before we have the big pack. So let's get this uh, Jaguar out, right? And here it is. Elusive Jaguar. That looks absolutely amazing. And we'll read this one too. So it says, Adventure awaits in the world of Jumanji where you don't just play the game. You must survive it. Lunge through the jungle canopy, climbing through trees to track your prey with the Jumanji silent attack elusive jaguar. Encounter the wild world of savage animals at every corner. Boom! Look how great he looks right there. So it's a little bit different than this one. <laughs> but um yeah let's get them on out okay great Oop, still stuck I just cut it and it's still stuck there we go boom all right look how outstanding this looks not I'm paying attention to the paws right there look at that awesome man look at those eyes it's such a great job with these animals, like, I can't say it enough. Tail is soft, but doesn't move. And then... Look at that snarling, ears back. Looks absolutely great. Legs come back to there. These come out to here. It's gonna be like running, galloping, right? So, that looks absolutely amazing. Put them right here. Bring that foot forward, and then... So amazing. And man, let me tell you, I'm really digging this set, this complete set right here. I'm glad we we're able to find them at Walmart. And so, um, and that's where you should be able to find yours. And look how great that looks already before we open our last box right here. Look how great these look. All right, so let's uh, let's move on to our last box, and that is this Wild Kingdom collection. And yeah, it looks great. Look at this box, three years and up, Wild Kingdom collection. It has this one, which looks like our exact same lion, but we have some other uh, animal figures in there. So look at this awesome cheetah right here. I'm glad we do have one. And let's see the back. So, posable features. Get ready for the ultimate battle. Action and head movement. Realistic lion sounds. And 
There we are. And I forgot what the names were in the movie, but this is the first actual like um, shot that shows all of them. We just open all three of these, I guess I can, you know, in that order. And then of course, not in this order, but, and now we have this one. So this is the complete set and it says, the ultimate adventure awaits in the world of Jumanji, where you don't just play the game, you must survive it. Encounter the thrill and excitement of an ultimate beast battle with the Jumanji Wild Kingdom collection. Face off with Dr. Smolder Bravestone versus four of the most ferocious wild animals and experience the wild world of Jumanji where adventure awaits. It would be so cool to get action figures of each of them. And I'm like, well, this guy's gotta see how it doesn't look like him. It has a beard, but no glasses, no hat, no bow tie. No vest, so I'm like, it can't be him. So, but you know, I was hoping. And then, of course, we have Kevin Hart here and Nebula from the Avengers. Doesn't even look like her, does it? But it is. So, let's get this out. Let's get these amazing um, action posables out right here. Let's cut this open. Let's see. I'm excited. I'm really digging that cheetah and that eagle in there. Let's see, what am I missing? Cut that, one more. The anticipation, let me tell you. Wow, woo! <laughs> All right, cool. I guess we can do the line last because we just did a line. So this eagle looks really cool, but it doesn't look like there's any sort of stand or anything to put them on, so I'm a little disappointed about that. Because then where are you supposed to put them? Anyway, so. What is this right here? I'm like, is that the symbol for the company? The toy company? Or is that the symbol for something within Jumanji? Because obviously we see that on all of them. So maybe it has something to do with the game, right? There it is, look. Interesting. It's on every one of them. Okay, so let's see. Can we pose the wings? No, we can't. Look how great it looks. Let me move this out of the way. This awesome wingspan. Look, his legs do move. His talons right there. We have a tail. This is an outstanding looking eagle right here. And look at that. Awesome sculpt. The beautiful paint. And his head. It does go up and down. So at least that's something. Look at that. That's cool. Can't flap the wings. Can't move them. But we can at least move the head and the legs. So it's something. So I wonder if I can put him like on somebody over here. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. There we go. Oh, let's put the legs even further back. There we go. I thought I could. I thought I could. <laughs> oh, but he's not staying. Mm, not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> All right. So we just set him aside for now because. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, so. Have him pretend to be Zazu. Okay, that'll work for now, look. I don't even know how I got him to stay, but he stayed. All right, so next, let's get our cheetah on out of here. The manis are so much easier to get out than the other ones. They had that huge thick twist tie. Okay. And man, look at this awesome cheetah. Oh, so the head's permanently turned that way, so. We can't turn it. So that's unfortunate because I would want Cheetah's head straight forward instead of always turned to the side. So that's unfortunate. There's that emblem again. Look at the spots. Look at the way the paint kind of... This little gradient come this way to kind of fade. Look at that. The legs extended there. The tail. This is a stiffer tail. Look at that. The other one, and then this leg is the one that does most of the movement. See the mouth does open and close. And then the legs go this far back and this far forward. So that's cool. Look at those paws. So let's take a look at this head. That face. It's pretty good. Really digging that. My only um I just wish the head was wasn't turned to the side. Because then now I can't put him like this, because then it looks weird. You know? Let's see. There we go. We need to have a cheetah over here. Man. So, 
I guess we can technically put that over here. Right? But it kind of looks odd-ish. So, just have it like that. That looks awesome. Alright, let's get Pumbaa on out of here. I mean, clearly it's not, but... Just saying it to be a little funny. Even if it only amuses me. And just put that aside for a second. And look how cool this looks. Man! Definitely looks fierce. You can see the tusks. You can see the the way the bones protrude. And the skull. That looks awesome. The head does not move up, down, back, or forth. The legs do move. Look at that. The little hooves. Leonard. And then, same thing with these. Wow, this one was a softer leg for some reason. Look at that. There's that little emblem right there, and the tail is soft. Doesn't move, but it's soft. And look at that. Where the hair comes right here. Cool little mohawk. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm digging this too. Look at this cool animal figures. I'm really digging this. And he's huge. Look at that. Bigger than the rock. Both of them. <laughs> okay. You know, I want to put him here, but he's going to get eaten by one of these other ones. But nonetheless, there he is. So we'll move this slightly. That way we can have him like that. Cool. Absolutely cool. Okay. And last, we have the lion, which we just did, right? But um, we'll get him out. And we'll see if he's exactly like the other one, which he certainly looks like. Let me get him out. Okay, and here we go. And it definitely looks like almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same. Let's cut that right there. And so, let's take a look. Yep. Has to be the same, and then the jaw just push it that way. Oh, again, that, uh, that uh, rubber band was probably holding it back like that. And so, just I mean, the ver variation in the paint is you know, you can notice it, but it's, it's just because it's slightly darker, but it's intended to be the exact same action figure. So, we'll go ahead and put this right here, and then let me ask you. What do you think of all these? We'll, we'll go ahead and back up a little bit so that you can see the entire playing field. Look at that. Doesn't look absolutely amazing. And then let's move these over here so that they're not obstructing our vision. But we can have the rock over here. So guys, what are your thoughts? Are you digging these? Because I certainly am. And I would love the way these look. Uh, what is missing is more characters. The four main characters, well three I guess, other ones from the movie Jumanji. Because I definitely want um, the other three characters, not just the rock only. And then miscellaneous short dude number one. <laughs> so guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And are you excited about the new movie? Because we certainly are. So, man, why did that look so crazy? Look at that look he's giving. If I can get it to zoom, I mean focus. Wow. <laughs> this one doesn't look so crazed out right here. Look at that. A little less, but this one definitely has got the crazy eye going. So, guys, I really want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. Um, give us a big thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments below. And we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks again, guys, for watching Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.